Hello everybody, I'm Red Chu and welcome back to Stranded Deep, where we cannot continue our new game thanks to the update. There might be a way to save the file, I'm not sure, but I'm not going to go through that process and try it, so... Unfortunately, it looks like we're going to have to start a new game and start everything all over again, so bear with me, guys. We won't have to watch the tutorial because I already know how to do it. You guys already saw the tutorial unless something's changed, so we're probably just going to skip to where we start off. Here we are, out in the beautiful lands of Stranded Deep. Where we are, I don't know, other than right in the middle of the ocean, we have a life raft. But our compass is gone, of course. So that's a thing. We don't have a compass anymore. We don't have anything that we had before because we had to start over again, thanks to the update. But I'm sure that the update is worth it. Hopefully the update's worth it. I don't know what we're going to do now. I still need to find a propeller, and I still need to find everything else now for a raft, a motorized raft. But hopefully we'll be able to find that stuff easily this time. And we can venture off to different islands. At least I'm at full hunger and health. So that's a good thing, I guess. I had a dream last night about Stranded Deep, and it involved a ghost ship, actually. It didn't involve anything that was actually in the game other than a well. There was a crap. There was a well over by the ghost ship in my dream. Which, that made it even more spooky, but essentially the ghost ship was just a big... I don't know what kind of ship it was, just like a big kind of ship, I guess. But it was a big ship, and if you got close to it or if you opened up the hatch or anything, a bunch of ghosts would come out. You couldn't see the ghosts, you'd just hear them, and then they would kill you eventually. I remember in the dream I jumped off the boat. I didn't even bother getting in the raft because it was too close and I wanted to get away quickly, so I jumped off and swam to another nearby shipwreck. But, before I got there, I ended up dying by the ghost and getting eaten by a shark as I went down with my death and whatever else, so... That was that. I don't know, though. The scariest part of that dream probably wasn't the whale. It was more likely the ghost ship. If I encounter something like that in this game, I'm probably never gonna play it again. But I might. You never know. I said that about the whale, too, and I'm still playing, so... And I saw that whale a couple of episodes ago, and I haven't seen another one yet. But that might change now that we're in a new world, because of the update. We need to make a crude axe since I don't have anything, and then we're going to crush one of these rocks. And not that rock, we're going to find another rock and crush it, and then we're going to spear that stupid shark right up the butt. I have the spear, now I just need the shark. Where are you at, sharky? Huh? Snackers? I know what you did to me in Banjo-Kazooie, so I'm gonna do things to you and Stranded Deep this time. You're not gonna survive. I couldn't kill you in Banjo-Kazooie, so... I'm just gonna name that shark Snackers. I don't know which shark it actually is. I'll probably name every shark Snackers. Snackers, is that you? No, that is a shipwreck. With bubbles. And please be something handy that I can use. A torch, that's... Well, that's handy. It's permanently equipped. <laughs> Press R to use. Is that even working? I couldn't tell. Any more bubbles anywhere? Do you guys see any bubbles? If you do, let me know so I can go check out these shipwrecks and crap like that. What are you? Oh, you're a stingray. I'm not going to get close to you because I know what happens when I get close to sting. What is that? Oh, it's a fish. What kind of fish are you? What are you? Lionfish. I caught a lionfish, guys. Yes! Now I'm gonna eat this lionfish eventually once I create a campfire and cook things. Son of a monkey! I touched the lionfish and now I've been poisoned. Hooray. Look at my arms! They're like bumps everywhere, I guess. And I'm flashing. Why am I flashing? Is that a side effect from the poison? Alright guys, it's just like old times. Navigating without a compass. Remember back when I first started the series, if you've been watching since then? I never had a compass. That's what we're gonna do this time, because I have no compass. Oh, I'm rowing through the ocean, even though I am so poisoned by the lionfish I stupidly grabbed hold of. Oh, there's a shark underneath me, probably gonna eat me, probably gonna eat me tonight, and then I'm going to die and have to restart the game again. How far away is this island? I don't know and I can't tell, but I am singing there. It has popped up on my screen. Yoo-hoo! Anybody home? There's a shipwreck over here. I see bubbles. 
So we might have to go dive down there and hope that we can find some antibiotics or whatever. What would help me for this? Would it be antibiotics for poison? I'm not sure. I don't see a shipwreck down here, though. That's the thing. We're kind of far off. Let's just go over here and see if there's any closer shipwrecks. Oh, those were fish. I thought it was something else. But let's see if there are any closer fish wrecks. Fish wrecks. Shipwrecks to this island. There are no shipwrecks near this island as far as I could tell. Nothing at least that would probably have a medicine cabinet for antibiotics. So we're off to a wonderful start in this new world of Stranded Deep. I avoided that stingray because I knew that would poison me, but no, I had to go and grab the spiky fish because I thought that was going to be a good idea. I thought I was going to eat that fish, but look at my arm. Look at what it has done to me. Oh, I am not a smart person. If I got stranded in the ocean, I would die probably within a day. Crafted the bed. Yes. We could sleep now, but not yet because I probably need to eat some coconuts or at least gather some coconuts for some food and water for the morning time. So let's hurry up and do that. My bed. My bed. Where's my bed? There's my bed. We're going to sleep now that we've got some coconuts in our belly and well, we don't actually have anything in our belly. I'll probably wake up and I'll probably have like warts all over me now. Oh, they're black. They're black spots. Why is it so foggy? I can't see a thing. Well, they're not black. That was just the lighting. Okay. So, what was our health at? Our hunger? Oh, crap. We gotta eat some stuff. Alright, let's just go to a different island and search for more things because this island has jack crap. If, if, if I could row, that would be terrific. But no, my guy wants to quit rowing because I don't know. I can't row, apparently. Uh, it's too tiring to row a boat three little times. But we have to go across the ocean. You have to row this boat. I have to row this boat. If I have to come into the screen and grab that paddle and row this raft, I will row the raft because it's not a boat like I've been calling it. It's a raft. At least the sharks are leaving me alone for the most part in this episode, so that's a good thing. As soon as I say that, now the sharks going to come and jump out of the water and grab me by the head and take me down and murder me. You've got to be kidding me. There are no shipwrecks on this island either. Hopefully around the island on the other side there's a shipwreck, but... Man, I am not having any luck at all today. Well, there's something. That's nothing, though. I need an actual shipwreck with crap in it. Like, I don't know, antibiotics or something would be very, very useful right now because I am poisoned because I grabbed that lion shark. I don't... Lionfish. Not a lion shark. I just spied with my little eye a shipwreck that could potentially have antibiotics in it. No, actually, probably not because I don't think there's a medicine cabinet in here. Well, there's a cabinet. Vitamins. Vitamins may help. I don't know if it will. There is no console in here, so crap a doodles. Let's get up here and take these vitamins. You got to take your vitamins, kids. That's a good thing to do. There was a hard case down here. Compass! Yes! 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 We have gotten the compass again! Yes! Now we know where we're going at least, but it still probably won't help me or prevent me from going in circles. But nevertheless, the compass! We've got it back! So let's just go this way. What way is this way? This way is south. Let's just go south, guys. So I don't know if I've been the other way or not. Wait. Wait. I hear something. I hear it. There it is. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Let's get out of here. Holy crap. That is close to that island too. And I almost ran into it. Or it almost ran into me. I wasn't even paying attention. I was on my phone looking at stuff. And I heard the noise. I knew that wasn't a normal noise, and by golly, that wasn't a normal noise, guys. It was a freaky well. Well, let's get out of here. I was more afraid of a shark coming up and taking my raft and making me swim with the well than actually staring at the well. That's why I want to get out of there quickly. I didn't really care about observing the well because the well, quite honestly, while it is a scary sea creature, is not going to bother me, so it's not really that scary in the game had it been 
something I've seen in person, then I might have been pretty scared about it. But the fact that it was just a sea creature in a game made me not scared of it. So we need to eat, we need to make a bed, and we need to sleep, and then we'll continue on our journey to find more shipwrecks. And if hopefully eventually figure out how to take these vitamins, because I really need some vitamins. I think the vitamins are going to cure my arm, hopefully. We've got a tree growing out of a boulder. So that's a thing. We've got the bed. It's time to sleep. We'll probably wake up and our arm will have fallen off from that poison that that lionfish gave us. But that's okay. That's perfectly fine. Our arms are black. I don't know. This isn't looking too good and it's raining, so that's not good either. So we've nothing else we can do other than continue trying to eat these vitamins. But that ain't working. I don't know. If you know how to eat the vitamins, let me know. But I'm just going to leave this episode here for now because I've gotten... Three days down, well this is the third day down now, so we've played for three days, we saw a well, we had to start over everything, we got the compass, we still haven't made a raft yet, we're probably gonna end up dying because we have no health whatsoever thanks to this poison, and I probably should eat some more food, so I'll probably do that later, but for now, as I said, I'm gonna leave this episode here, so if you like this video, slap that like button around a bit with a large trout and share it with your friends because they might like it too. If you want to see more of these videos in the future, go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you geese later. Thanks for watching. Mm. You are a pain in the butt, game. You are not cooperating correctly with me, at least how I think you should. So if you're bored, you want to play something, go to itch.io and download Goo Goo. It is free to download. I don't remember if it actually has an option for you to pay or not. But if it does, you might want to pay just to support the developer because developers need support too. They don't make these games for free. Well, they do, obviously, or they wouldn't release them for free. But I mean that they need to eat. So you might as well just spend a couple bucks and buy a game. We 